stopping, he's going back, he's gonna run down, ball gets away, this one's over! Oh my freaking goodness! But I got the Twins signing Carlos Correa. Jeff Passon has the Giants getting Chris Bryant. I am taking the Atlanta Braves. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric, and today it's time for my annual playoff prediction video. The 2022 MLB playoff field is set, seeds are locked, the series are scheduled, and we are ready to rock and roll. This year, obviously, we have expanded playoffs. We have a wild card series again with three games, all in the same ballpark, no travel. I'm not a fan of it. But I'm not here to rant. I'm here to predict. So it is what it is. In the American League, the Houston Astros and New York Yankees have buys. So they will just jump right into the next round. Same with the Dodgers and Braves in the NL. The wild card series are going to be in the AL. The Mariners at the Blue Jays. So every game will be in Toronto. The Tampa Bay Rays will be playing in Cleveland all three games if necessary. In the National League, we have the Padres at Mets and the Phillies at the Cardinals. These will be three game series, all in the same ballpark. So we're gonna run through the wild card series and give you my predictions on those series. Here we have the bracket, and it starts with the Jays and the Mariners. Both these teams had really nice seasons for sure. And I love this Mariners team, up and coming team. They are fantastic, a 90 win season. And both these teams also finished the year strong. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and go with that team that's probably been you know, working towards a playoff run and a World Series title. Um, a little bit longer as far as their talent field. They have been good for a long time. And I think they're ready to have a massive playoff run. But I do think the Mariners are an up-and-coming team. They're going to have some big seasons yet to come. But for this year, I'm going to go with the Blue Jays to advance. Uh, next series is between the Guardians and the Rays. Now, this series is going to be taking place in Cleveland. The Tampa Bay Rays, of course, are a very playoff experienced team that just always finds a way in no matter what, no matter how low their budget is no matter um, what their roster looks like no matter what the competition is the Rays find a way and oftentimes to get all the way to the World Series like they did in 2020 but this year uh, playing in Cleveland and the, the Guardians are pumped they are ready they finished strong the Rays finished not so strong at all so the Rays have been struggling the Guardians have had a fantastic year they are the AL Central champions they are a team that is pumped up right now they have not had a World Series championship 19 what 1948 I lost track because it's been a uh, many many a year since the Cleveland well now they're the Guardians but the Cleveland baseball team I hate the sound of that, so I'm just going to say the Cleveland Indians haven't won a World Series since the 40s. So um, I do think this entire fan base, this entire team is just absolutely pumped up. Uh, I'm not saying the Rays are not, but I do have the Guardians advancing. The Guardians will advance taking on the Yankees in the ALDS. They are playing good baseball and they are ready. So I got the Guardians moving on. Let's move on to the National League. San Diego Padres at New York Mets. Mets, hey, hats off to the Mets. They came through this year. Uh, they did not fall apart like last year. They won 101 games. What a phenomenal season for the New York Mets. Obviously, the Padres, they are not playing around either. The Padres signed whoever they had to, traded for whoever they had to. They wanted to compete, and they finally did it too. Both of these teams are teams that last year had disappointing years, and this year finally got in. Now, the Padres did finish 22 back. Finished the season all right. I mean, they just lost to the Giants, but I don't think it was a big deal. They were just trying to stay healthy, get into the playoffs. They did win that series, and uh, they finished the season 5-5. Five and five. New York Mets have also finished the year 5-5, five and five, but this is going to be in New York, and I am going to go with the Mets with DeGrom going in game one. I think the Mets will win today or whenever that game, I think it's today, but that game the Mets will take with Max Scherzer taking on you Darvish, both phenomenal pitchers, but Max Scherzer is Max Scherzer. So uh, I am gonna go with the Mets to take that one against the Padres and move on to take on the Dodgers. 
And then we can move on to the Cardinals and Phillies. I've been high on the Cardinals for a long time. I love this Cardinals team. All due respect to the Phillies. The Phillies, have all, they almost blew their playoff chances. They were pretty much in. And at just a horrible last couple weeks of the year. I mean, I, even Phillies fans right now are probably not that confident, if, if I'm to be honest. Um, maybe I'm wrong on that. But you have a Phillies team. They kind of picked it up. They figured it out at the end and, and barely were able to slip in. They finished 87-75. and 75. One game better than the Brewers, 86 and 76. So the Brewers, unfortunately for them, didn't make it. But the Phillies, I think, they're just barely slipping in like that. Going to have to go to St. Louis. I'm going to go with the Cardinals straight up here. I'm going to go with the Cardinals to take this one and uh, move on to the NLDS. Um, I do have pretty much all the home teams winning in the wild card series. Blue Jays taking it. Guardians taking it. Mets taking it. Cardinals taking it. Not to be... You know, biased. I mean, I mean, I mean, whatever word is the right word. I don't think it's biased is right, but not to be just advantageous to the home team every time because I'm sure there's a, a chance. Obviously, a, a visiting team can go on the road and win two out of three games. It happens all the time. It's not a, even a, a big deal. But in this particular case, I, I genuinely think the home teams are the teams that are going to be uh, a little bit hotter going into the playoffs. A little bit more ready to win and it's just my personal prediction that all the home teams are going to win those wild card series now we're getting into the nitty-gritty in the ALDS Astros Blue Jays oh my goodness obviously the Astros have had a insane season 106 wins Dusty Baker oh my gosh the Blue Jays uh, also this is going to be a really fun series. I hope this matchup happens. All due respect, Mariner. If Mariners win, that'd be great too, because obviously Mariners are a hot young team that hasn't been in the playoffs in forever. So, but I am saying if the Blue Jays meet up with the Astros, I will have my eyes glued to that one. And you know what? I'm going to go with the Jays to keep it up, okay? Ball cap sports. Blue Jays are going to take that series against the Astros and move on to the ALCS. And then you have the Guardians, Yankees. Okay, love the Guardians. This was going to be a fun one, too. I will be rooting for Cleveland. I will be rooting for Cleveland. I've said that in previous videos and live streams. So if you're a Guardians fan, don't be mad at me. But the Yankees are the Yankees. I do. I mean, obviously, the Astros 106 wins. Please uh, by all means, if we're just talking how good this team has been this year, the Astros have all the advantage in the world. But I really love this Jays team. I see them really uh, playing great baseball during this entire postseason run. And uh, I, I am going to take them to move on. The Astros, of course, have finished the year pretty strong, 7-3. and three, And uh, there's no reason to think they wouldn't run the table, head back to the World Series. So by all means, uh, don't be mad if you're an Astros fan. But... Just got a hunch on the Jays this year. I've had a hunch since the beginning, so there you go. Uh, but I do have the Yankees moving on in this Guardian series. And uh, I think they're just too strong, too powerful. They're going to move on at least to the ALCS, and it's going to be an insane matchup between the Jays and the Yankees. Um, a rematch of the series that just recently occurred that I was actually live streaming. So it's going to be a fun series. The Jays were able to walk it off there. Um, I live streamed and uh, did some play by play on that game and it was an exciting game and I can see that matchup happen again in the playoffs. Dodgers, Mets, oh my gosh. What? By the way, the Dodgers won 111 games this year. 111 games. Even if the Giants repeated 107 last year, we still wouldn't have won the division. I mean, would have made the playoffs, but wouldn't have won the division because the Dodgers won 111. Um, well, obviously, if the Giants won 107, we would have won a lot of more games than the Dodgers. It would have changed everything. But, you know, let's not just, 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 just keep the, the, the basic concept here. 111 wins. Dodgers are amazing. Look at this matchup. Two teams with over 100 wins going at it. Oh, my gosh. Um, I see both teams throwing out amazing pitching. I, I can see the Mets taking this one, honestly. I can see the Mets taking this one. The Dodgers offense, though, is insane. And my instinct is to say, when you just think about the pitching staffs and everything, uh, that hey, the Mets, the Mets can actually take this because of their pitching advantage. But then the Dodgers, okay, oh, the Dodgers, yeah, Kershaw's a little bit older. I think uh, they got some injuries to their rotation. May is out. Um, Walter Bueller's out, if I'm not mistaken. But the Dodgers have quietly picked up guys like Tyler Anderson and Tony Gonsolin, who are just dominating, who dominated this year. So their names may not pop like some of those other names, but they're just as good. So the Dodgers with that insane lineup and a rotation that is somehow just as good as their rotation's been in the last few years, if not better, despite names like Tyler Anderson. Tyler Anderson is, is 
dominant. He's amazing. So I think it will be a great matchup. This is not going to be a sweep in my opinion if this is the matchup. I will take though. Uh, it's hard to do it. I, 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 uh, I'm going to take the Dodgers to move on. I, I, I'm going to give a little more respect. 111 wins. I got to respect that the Dodgers are going to move on at least to the NLCS this year. But the Mets, I mean, our Mets fans are screaming right now at the screen. You guys are amazing and could very much take this and very much take it all. Just keep that in mind. And I'm a Giants fan, so it hurts me more than it hurts you to pick the Dodgers. So then we have the Cardinals and Braves. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals, just a huge fan of their roster, a huge fan of uh, their offense, obviously with the Arenado-Goldschmidt combo there. Um, Albert Pujols, the magical year he had, top at 700, and he's just, I mean, the dude's playing like it's like it's 2006 again. I don't know what's going on, but you know, he, on his last playoff run, Pujols is going to be pumped up. He's trying to bring a last world championship to St. Louis or help do so. They got another, a lot of other really good players. Tommy Edmond. Braves, of course. Matt Olson and company. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't have the talent to uh, beat the Cardinals. I mean, I think matchup this year, they're 3-3 three and three against each other. If I remember, I mean, I did, all, I did a lot of research before this video. Checked out all these teams. Checked out their rosters. Checked out the matchups. And at the end of the day, I'm still Team St. Louis here for this one. I picked the Braves to win the World Series last year, and they did. So if you're a Braves fan, hey, I had y'all winning the World Series in my playoff prediction video last season, and y'all won the World Series. So all due respect, the Braves trying to be the first team in a long time since the Blue Jays. I'm not really sure, 93-92, to back-to-back, -to, -back, to win back-to-back -back World Series. I'm going to take the Cardinals to move on to the NLCS. This is my National League Championship Series, Dodgers-Cardinals, my American League Championship, Yankees, Blue Jays. And who do I got going to the World Series in 2022? That's the big question. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the obvious choice here is the Yankees to take it and the Dodgers to take it. And I have had a lot of favorites winning, a lot of the home team series, all the home team series in the wild card. Uh, the Yankees, I take the Dodgers, I take, I've taken a lot of favorites. Okay, I took the Jays over the Astros. Other than that, I've taken a lot of probably favorites. That's going to end here. I am going to say the Toronto Blue Jays take out the Yankees, and I'm going to say the St. Louis Cardinals take out the Dodgers, and we have a wild card World Series. Both of these teams, even though the Cardinals won their division because of these new crazy rules, you're winning a division and you still have to be a wild card team. That's just bizarre to me, but it is what it is. I do have the St. Louis Cardinals and the Toronto Blue Jays in the World Series this year um and it's gonna be uh, a fun one here albert pujols will be in the world series all these great young blue jays players are going to be in the world series with vlad guerrero jr bichette etc 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 all this these fantastic young players and this team that's been you know they started the rebuild a few years ago i think they're ready and it's going to be wild and the series is going to go at least six games maybe seven but at the end of the day Winning their first World Series since 1993, I am going to say the Toronto Blue Jays are going to be submitting my picks. The Toronto Blue Jays. This is my preseason pick. I'm sticking with it. The Jays take it all in 2020. Two. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will say that the total number of games, we're going to go with I'll go with seven. It's going to be a seven-game series. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's my prediction. Could be completely wrong on that. Both the Jays, Cardinals could be eliminated first round. Y'all know this. This is just for fun. Do not get offended. Um, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. I've been very preoccupied with the Giants this year and doing post games and watching Giants. I'm a huge Giants fan, so... I'm not the the uh, all-knowing expert on MLB overall, but I did do tons of research. That's why this video is a little late. Um, and look through every team, every roster, and this is my uh, my game pick. I am sticking with the Jays to win it all. Still love the team like I did preseason and uh, still do now. So Jays over Cardinals in the World Series. What do you guys think? Have a fantastic one. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you next time.